Today's My Health segment brought to you by Choose for Health, the world's first super fruit, sea vegetable, antioxidant, chewable dietary supplement. Work deadlines, traffic troubles, the never ending to do list, whatever the cause, stress is a part of our daily lives, right? But never fear, there are some foods you can actually eat that can reduce your stress levels. And here to tell us more about that, our health expert, Dr. David Friedman. Welcome back to the show. Great to see you this week. Uh, there's a topic today we're talking about I think everybody can relate to, stress. There's a long list of factors that relate to stress and cause it, including challenges on your job, financial difficulties. There are internal factors as well uh, that enable your body to respond or not respond to stress. This includes nutrition, emotional well-being, even the amount of sleep you get or don't get affects your stress. Now, the emotional well-being, I can relate to that. If I get stressed, I know a lot of ladies are like this. We rely on our friend Ben and Jerry. Oh, <laughs> not the, so good, the, right? The old Ben and Jerry. Let me tell you, if you spell the word stressed backwards, it spells desserts. So there's some word science, if you call it that, to relate that. But there's a reason why this takes place. See, when you're stressed, the body secretes more of a hormone called cortisol, also known as the stress hormone. And what happens is it increases your food cravings, especially for sweets and those high fat foods that you don't want to jump on when you're stressed. Eating sweets, what it does is it increases serotonin in our brains. And serotonin is a hormone that makes us feel good emotionally. But you know what? Not so good around the midsection when that takes place. It also sounds like a hormonal roller coaster. Good analogy, Beth. Stress doesn't just lead to hormonal imbalances. Here's what it can also do. It can lead to many diseases. Asthma, cancer, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, immune suppression, irritable bowel disease, rheumatoid arthritis, even ulcers, stress-related. That whole list from stress. Whole list from stress, but you know it gets even a step further. Not just diseases can be linked to stress. Stress can cause death. 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 In fact, Yale University published a research study showing physiological stress can cause sudden death by increasing the chances of lethal heart arrhythmias. In fact, they estimate 400,000 deaths per year are stress-related. 400,000. That's a lot. And that's enough to stress you out. It sure is. So what do you do? What do you do? Well, for starters, take action by eating foods that have been shown to fight stress. The first stress busters on my list that I recommend are fish that are high in omega-3 fatty acids like salmon and tuna. You can see that here. These keep your cortisol levels in check, plus really good for combating heart disease. OK, salmon and tuna but how much and how often? Well, try to eat if you can three ounces of either salmon or tuna, and I recommend twice a week if you can. For snacks, if you wanna get off those carbs and those unhealthy snacks, almonds. They're loaded with essential stress-relieving vitamins, and you know what? They can even stimulate the immune system. Another one, pistachios. Handful of those a day can help combat adrenaline levels, and that also helps lower blood pressure when stress hits. Ooh, that's a good idea. Now, I see we've got oranges here. This must be a good one as well. Oh, oranges, my favorite fruit. Let me tell you, research published by the University of Alabama has shown that vitamin C actually reduces the level of that stress hormone in the blood. Oranges also strengthen the immune system, which we all want. Now, what about the avocado that's sitting here next to avocado, me? Avocado, that's my vegetable of choice. Let me tell you, these have been shown to have beneficial effects on high blood pressure and great late night alternative. So instead of that, you know, chips and ice cream out there, eat guacamole dip with some whole wheat crackers. Great alternative for evening snack. I, I could totally get into that. Love guacamole. That was some great late at night snack. Anything else? Yep. That to the left, I brought some turkey. This is what my meat of choice is. Let me tell you why. It contains an amino acid called L-tryptophan. This triggers that feel-good chemical in your brain. L-tryptophan relaxes you, helps get rid of stress. So there you have it. These are the foods I recommend that can help you battle stress. Yummy. You always are so full of such great information. And if you want to learn more about how to combat stress, you just go to our website, which is thebalancingact.com slash askthedoctor.